Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you a little bit of an advanced trick on this traditional wiggle effect that I've previously shown. So let's say you have whatever video clip or document that you're working on, and you go to your text tool and you write out your text. So I'm going to click and write out whatever I want. And in the essential graphics panel, here's where I can choose the font and the size and all that. This particular font, if you're wondering, is called pajama party or pyjama party. I'm going to increase the size, center it in my case. But basically, once you have your text laid out, the way to give it that animated kind of jumpy look is first, we're going to go to the effects panel and search for one called wave warp. This will be in the distort video effects folder. Once I click and drag that onto the clip, wave warp is unique in that it's one of the only effects in Premiere Pro that automatically animates without you adding keyframes. So just by playing this by default, you'll automatically get that wave warp effect happening on the text. And right now it kind of looks like it's liquidy swimming in water or something like that. And if you go to the effects control panel of that graphic text layer, here's where you can adjust things about the wave warp. So how tall it is, how wide the waves go, and also the direction and speed of it. So just in this way alone, you can create really cool wiggly effects. But if we want to take it to the next level and give it a kind of sketchy comic or cartoony animated look, what I'm going to do is add another effect on top called Posterize Time. And this is in the Time Video Effects folder. And what this is going to do is chop up the frame rate so that we only see one frame every so often. So right now it's at 24. But if we lower it down to like four frames, that'll give us four frames per second. So it'll just be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you can see now instead of a smooth movement, it's almost more like a stop motion time lapse type of animation. And I can simply just adjust the parameters of the wave to be whatever I want. I can animate the wave in different ways or choose different settings. But basically, we're going to get that cool stop motion animation rather than your traditional smooth animation. And that's four. I can do one frame per second for an even slower look like that. Kind of dances back and forth. Um, two frames per second is what that would look like. But basically, you get the idea. Just by combining one more effect on top of your traditional wiggle text effect, you can give it that more cartoony hand sketched look all in Premiere without having to go in After Effects. So if you did enjoy this video, check out my other tutorials on Wiggle in Premiere. And definitely if you want to go more in depth into text effects, check out all of my text effect tutorials for After Effects where you can have a lot more powerful capabilities. You can subscribe to the channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.